Okay, welcome to uh, the Craig Report, which uh, the task of uh, this afternoon is to go through round one against our really poor performance against Port Adelaide. But first up, clip of the week. Take the mark, Schultz got his arms free. Good commitment, they need something from their co-captain Jack Grimes, he's their captain today in the absence of Jack Trengo going solo and he wins a free. Wearing the 31 this year, Jack Grimes. Jack's performance on the weekend, I think, was one of the few, you know, bright spots or, or highlights of the weekend, if you like. And for, for our supporters and members who are at the game, um, hopefully what you saw was, was a, uh, an emerging young man uh, for the Melbourne Footy Club that's embracing uh, his, his, his role as co-captain of the Melbourne Footy Club. Um, and by the way he conducts his business on the ground and also his performance. I thought his performance, you know, in a really tough game to play, to play well, was exceptional. And on top of that, of course, his leadership qualities won by his own individual performance, but also the way he, he continually tried to, to drag other players along with him um, was one of, as I said, a, an outstanding performance by, by Jack Grimes and, you know, one of, one of the few highlights from the weekend. The question, uh, the question of the week uh, for round one comes from um, Josh Ryan, who uh, we got this question from Facebook, and it's basically Nildy, Grimes and uh, Jack Watts all repeatedly said, we didn't, or well, I didn't see it coming. Uh, it makes no sense at all. Can you please explain? Um, Josh, I know that's, that's a really good question because, you know, people would think after such a long period of our preparation, um, you know, that, that would, you know, you would have a higher expectation of our performance in round one. And it's a fair question, um, what they would have meant in terms of didn't see it coming. What I can report to our members is this, is that the elevation in the work ethic uh, in our pre-season training, both from a physical point of view and the way uh, they've attacked their actual football training um, is at, a, is at a, a really high level now. To the extent that um, the football department of the Melbourne Footy Club went into round one with a huge amount of confidence. And so that performance uh, was certainly poles apart from the way in which our guys uh, have prepared over pre-season. Really disappointing performance. Um, and so that's why th those sort of statements were made, that we didn't see that coming. In actual fact, everything we've done leading into round one would have indicated the opposite. However, that's the performance that we've produced. It is now our responsibility to, uh, to change that performance with round two coming up uh, against Essendon. And so in the end, it will be about, uh, it'll be about our actions, about the way we respond. Um, it's about to, um, to win back probably some trust from our members and supporters of the Melbourne Footy Club. That's our responsibility to do that. Uh, for me, it was a confirmation of once again, the importance of uh, bringing to the game a level of effort, intensity, competitive spirit, uh, call it what you like, um, but clearly um, that wasn't on show. Um, and that was the most disappointing aspect of our performance. And uh, that's the number one priority for any football club because you, uh, your game plan, how you wanna move the ball, all your structures um, are all heavily underpinned by players bringing that competitive spirit to the table and to, to game day. Uh, and that certainly wasn't there um, for the majority of our players. So as I said before, our responsibility now is to, uh, we get another opportunity on, on Saturday against Essendon. Um, uh, we get another opportunity by our actions to, uh, to clearly demonstrate that we can put that into place. Okay, that's, uh, that's it for the Craig Report for round one. And, uh, Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've got some information uh, that you didn't have before and, uh, and we're all looking forward to a much better performance and result uh, after round two against Essendon. See you next week.